Hey everybody, what was that? What was that audio clicking I heard? Guess what? Guess what's fixed? Guess what's fixed? Ah! <laughs> it's fixed. It's fixed. Yeah, I won't have to. Hopefully, unless everything just goes to goes to pot, won't have to um, play with keyboard and mouse tonight. Back on controller. Got it working. Uh, Celador, hello, hello everybody. Steve, Celador, Rummy, Kath, Doc, Lamia. If you're out there, I haven't haven't seen you yet today, Lamia. Oh, uh, <laughs> Kath. Today I learned never ever give glue to me. Uh, so Celador, what I was gonna say is yesterday you were suggesting uh, reverting to an earlier version of the mod, and and I did have it saved. I had 1.0 saved. I even had some of the earlier non-release version saved. Uh, the only difference between 1.0 of the controller mod and 1.1 of the controller mod was a force feedback addition that matters not to me. And some people did have trouble with it. I've never had trouble with I it. I have detected a signal hey. embedded in the static. Nice, Dark Portal. Welcome, welcome. Dark Portal, thank you for the follow. Good timing, we're just getting started. So uh, yeah, that was all fixed. I don't, I don't know what the particular corruption was. I don't know why having the mod version with the force feedback in there all of a sudden was causing the game to disregard its settings when you load a save. Doesn't matter, whatever the inconsistency was, it's uh, have no fear, true 90s kid is here. Hey Pierce, Pierce Scion in the house. Um, I'm just glad, I'm just glad it's working. I don't care about the force feedback uh, I probably could get away with updating back to 1.1 and it would all work now with no explanation as to why it failed. Who cares? Who cares? So we're on Ilium and uh, we, we've got everything to do now. We've acquired our full crew except for, except for that one member who comes later. And I think we have nearly everyone's loyalty missions on the books except for the, the three small ones we've already done. Oh, by the way, John Wick was awesome. We are Woo's been um, been kind of poking me to see John Wick for a long time. And I promised him a long time ago that that would be the next movie I watch. And I finally watched it because We Are Woo sent me a copy of John Wick. That and Shovel Knight. And some treats for the dogs. Thank you, buddy. Thank you if you're out there. But We Are Woo, I gotta say, John Wick was awesome. So I stayed up late last night uh, after the stream. I watched John Wick and then hung out chatting with some people and got to, uh, yeah, I got to sleep a little later than I planned. I took a nap today. I feel bad I haven't had a chance to pop into Nade's stream uh, and I was out working and I didn't have my auto host going. So, um, well, hopefully maybe we'll, we'll catch Nade at some point here today, but I haven't had a chance to pop in. How has Nade been doing? Does anyone know? How's his PC holding up? How's his new run in Fallout going? I've been... Curious, but unable to to engage, so I really have no clue what he's been up to. Garrus, we've got a loyalty mission for Garrus. To find out from Fade information about Sidonis, who betrayed him. Got his team killed. He's been setting up TeamSpeak all afternoon. Nice. Uh, what's he setting up TeamSpeak for? Just in general, to have, or... Oh, he was doing Arma? That's right. That's right. He was playing some Arma with a friend. Is that what TeamSpeak was for? Uh... Setting it up for some multiplayer. I have a um, mumble server that I have access to that doesn't get used for anything else. And I, I realize TeamSpeak's a little more user-friendly. So in the future, I may set up a TeamSpeak server as well. I don't want to run it out of my house. Um, my commercial internet account will give me a static IP if I want it. But um, uh, it's uh, security reasons and other reasons. I'd rather not host it here. Bandwidth reasons even. So uh, right now I've got a mumble server. Anyways, nothing, nothing to talk about now there, really. Grunt, speak to the clan leader. What's wrong with Grunt? There's nothing wrong. He's Krogan. That's what's wrong with Grunt. We've got another loyalty mission on Tichanka. We've got Morden's loyalty mission. Speak with the clan chief or scout commander. Jack wants to go to Pragia, to the cell where she was raised. Deploy a big bomb and watch it blow from orbit. That's her plan. We're going to help her with that. Uh, when we report back to Liara, we will be able to progress if we want with Shadow Broker. Miranda wants us to talk to uh, Lantea here on Ilium. She's trying to protect her 
clone, younger clone sister from their evil, evil father. Um, you've been working. You can't get into Nade Stream. What? Um, how you doing, Kim? What's going on? What's going on that you couldn't get into Nade Stream? I mean, just like buffering or or what's up? Only three hours of sleep, skimpy, even for you. Yikes. I have my, uh, let me see if I got this right. I stopped using chatty. I'm back in, uh, back in a web browser here. What has, um, oh, check this out. Hey, Kim, you might like this one. So Skin Teen, who has some of those cat emotes. I don't use too many cat emotes, but she's got those cool stairs as well as the heart. I just found a new one. Check out the one she's got here. She's got that. She's got that. It's a little, little kitty cat booty. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where that came from. Teen booty. All right. All right. I was talking a little bit with Steve earlier, too, about, um, well, I was looking for some advice, some feedback on how to handle possible third-party subs, since there are some services to do that. We might set up some subs soon. Try to come up with some good, uh, good perks and benefits for different tiers and we we're talking a little bit about that. I might ask a few more of you for some advice on things like that. Assemble a team. There's our main mission. And then we have a couple pieces of DLC and a couple side quests. Arrival, we're going to save for later. Overlord, we can do any time. So what does anyone want to see? Um, loyalty missions. We want to start on loyalty missions. And Shadow Broker. When to do Shadow Broker? I don't want us... Shadow Broker should happen either tonight or tomorrow night, is my thought, and not save it for Saturday. Saturday, we've got a 12-hour stream, and I'd like to finish the game on Saturday. So, I don't want to save something large like Shadow Broker for the last day. I kind of want to have just uh, main missions and odds and ends and maybe a couple loyalties left, like Jack's loyalty. We're not going to do Jack's loyalty right now because we want to max out as much as possible, max out... Paragon and Renegade, and since we're Paragade, and we keep voting back and forth, we don't have enough to uh, resolve her loyalty situation that comes out. Tachanka? Pierce is saying Tachanka? Let's go to Tachanka. Let's do it. Uh, what do you say? Morden first is a bit of a warm-up, and then, and then Grunt? Let's do it. And we'll come back here to Ilium. For the Horde! The stuff on Tachanka is great. I mean, Krogans, come on. Krogans are just that awesome. Ah, what the heck, let me make some coffee. I'm gonna make one cup of coffee and hopefully not get all caught up in drinking a bunch. Kim, I don't know if you heard us uh, a few minutes ago before the stream, I was picking S7's brain a little bit more about coffee, but uh, the ones I've found that I really like, the 8 o'clock that you sent is good, and I like the, the Brooklyn one, some of those are really good, but what I discovered that I do really like is the Tully's Hawaiian blend, that is super tasty, and the Green Mountain Nantucket, I think I like the Nantucket blend a lot too, but at this point I'm swimming in so much coffee, thanks to you, and uh, and I use the coupons with the, with the machine to get you know, they had two free boxes with the purchase of two. So that's where I got the hot cocoa and the Tully's and the Nantucket. All right. A whole planet of Krogans. Yes. Whole planet of Krogans. Check in with Kelly. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be the here. poll for the romance is pretty much settled. Uh, I think we're going to stop running the poll after tonight. We can let it run through tonight. But unless something crazy happens, the uh, romance poll has already found its winner. So there it is if you haven't seen it. And we'll come back to the New Year's poll in a little bit. I don't want to throw everything at everyone at once. But uh, what's going on right now, romance options, we have nearly twice as many votes for number one as for number two. So I don't think that's going to be overcome. We've got 39 votes total. Very healthy. Very healthy. 
Uh, stay mostly faithful to Liara and get a lap dance from Kelly Chambers. 16 votes, Thane Krios, 9 votes, Garrus Vakarian, 8 votes. Completely faithful to Liara, 4 votes, and Jacob Taylor, 2 votes. So if you haven't voted in the romance poll and you have any thoughts on that, feel free to jump on that. Cast your vote. But um, I suspect it's not going to change at this point. Pierce, if on Andromeda you are able to choose your character's race, what would it be? Including all the minor races, Vorcha, Volus, Hanar. Oh my god. Um, what would I play? I'm such a sucker for boring races. I mean, like Dragon Age Origins, I have hundreds and hundreds of hours in it, and I don't think I've ever played a dwarf. Nothing against dwarves, but I've played human and elf. Um, hello, Captain Awesome. Captain Awesome. And the fish we don't need to feed anymore. Well, who would you pick? Let me ask you first. Who would you pick? Who would I pick? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Lots of interesting races. I wouldn't mind playing a Turian or a Salarian. I think both of those would be pretty cool. How about a female Turian? How about a female Turian? You've only, you've, that's all you've played is a dwarf. That's awesome. That's awesome. See? I love to remember, remind myself, I think we should all remind ourselves that no matter how different we are, we are more alike than we are different all around the world. We are more alike than we are different despite our human affection for drawing lines in the sand and <laughs> expressing our differences. But uh, yeah, we, we do have, we, we have our own tastes, don't we? Elcor, because moving tank. <laughs> I guess, I guess. You'd be, uh, you, you don't think you'd be vulnerable? I guess every race is vulnerable in their own way. The Junker. Krogan DMZ. Just looking around real quick. Dr. Kenson, that's the arrival DLC. The Shadow Sea, the Nubian Expanse. The Hades Nexus. We haven't even been there. I think a few of the places on the map that aren't marked with quests. Uh, we got star charts for them on Ilium is why they might be showing up now. Hourglass, Nebula, Shrike, Abyssal, Hades. Minos Wasteland. Still, hey, Davination, it's good to see you. Sorry that your tooth is still hurting like that. I'm getting my teeth clean next week, and I, I've got an old filling that is not in great condition, and I don't really feel it much, but they've told me for the past two years that I need to have it refilled. Sea Star, what's up? Welcome. Hello, everybody. You're hanging here for a while before going to sleep. Awesome. Awesome. Glad to have you here. Let us lull you into sleep. Do a deep sleep. And everybody's favorite. Let's do, uh, let's do five minutes of planet scanning. Just to keep track of them, I start on the outer rung. We're not doing much. Have no fear. You don't need to run away because we're doing planet scanning. It'll be very quick. A couple minutes. I hope so, Kim. Kim says those lines in the sand are so antiquated and now counterproductive. I hope we can outgrow them soon. Don't I? Don't I too. I sure hope we can. Um, you know I hate bringing up things like politics, so I'm going to skip the political part, but just... Um, I did. Pierce, I got it fixed. I got it fixed. Just... Gutted the mod, reapplied an early version of the mod. Uh, it might even have had something weird to do with the DS for Windows software that was running. Maybe the fact that the X input controller was engaged at the time. I, I don't know. There's so many weird possibilities. All I know is, yes, I did get it working. Very glad I got it working. Uh, so anyways, what I was going to say is, politics aside, we have all these squabbles around the world. And I, I like to think of a Star Trek model. Flash forward a hundred years. Just a hundred years. In the grand scheme of things, a hundred is nothing. Flash forward a hundred years. If we're all around, if the human race survives the next hundred years, 
Do you think the map is gonna look like it does now? Do you think we're gonna have the same borders and boundaries and leaders and squabbles that we do now? If we're gonna survive another 100 years, let alone 500 years, we're gonna have to learn to get along. Whole lot better than we're getting along now. So, should be interesting. Should be interesting. Rage Mage, welcome. Welcome everyone. Rage, thank you for the host. Everyone check out Rage Mage on Twitch when you get a chance. Portal 2, man. If um, if Rage Mage comes into chat here, I gotta I gotta pick his brain a little bit about Portal. Since I have a warm spot for Portal. <laughs> J Mild Bean, hope you're keeping well, enjoying the stream. Thank you, Maka. Always good to see ya. Maka, hello. And cheers to you. Speaking of, speaking of. Coffee! Coffee, 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 coffee. Cappuccino. <laughs> hey, what's up, Pete? How you doing? S7, I hope we all get along. Tellarite and Andorian living as one. But if Guinan comes along, I'm getting every last alien to help me curb stomp. <laughs> what? What do you got against Guinan, man? What do you got against Guinan? Oh my god. Is it a whoopee thing or is it a Guinan thing? It's weird now looking back and uh, and I love watching old next gen and seeing whoopee there, but but only when I think about it as whoopee because she's Guinan. She was always there. She was there from the beginning. It is weird to think about how Whoopi Goldberg is such a big part of Star Trek. You really think about it, she's a huge part of the Star Trek universe. Well, I like Guinan. I like Guinan. <laughs> it's a Guinan thing. Whoopi just has seven. Man. You prefer Quark. You know, one day I need to watch all of Deep Space Nine. I only ever saw the first season and a half. I've got the whole thing. I've got the whole thing uh, in my collection, but I have heard that the show got so good and and consistent, like coherent plot lines that carried throughout the seasons once they got to, what, the third? End of the second or the third season? Oh, what's another one? Stargate SG-1. I've only seen two seasons of Stargate SG-1. Been meaning to go back and, and watch that someday. So much good stuff. Who was asking about TV shows I liked yesterday? Um, I didn't even mention Breaking Bad. Which was so fantastic. Breaking Bad's gonna be hard to one-up. Although I don't think too many people are gonna try. Uh, two to four seasons were the Dominion Wars. See, that, I don't know, but that's kind of what I've heard. I've heard that these Dominion Wars are just excellent. And I never watched any of, what was the one with Janeway? Voyager, I never watched Voyager. I've not seen a single episode. I guess I was doing other things at the time. So this is my lazy planet scanning. I'm, I'm not strip mining planets. I'm looking for easy spikes and just... Just touching each planet. Just touch it. Just touch it. S7. Gold pressed latinum is my dealie. <laughs> um, oh, I gotta, I gotta read this in order. Davination Atlantis. Thought Atlantis was good. Yeah, I haven't heard too much about it. All right, here we go. Tachanka. So, Morden first. We're bringing Morden down. We're doing Morden's loyalty mission. Who else are we bringing with Morden to do Morden's loyalty mission? And let's get a naughty or nice poll going. Most of you know what this is about by now, but if not, um, this is a viewer choice run. So, Shepard is neither Paragon nor Renegade. She is Paragade, and we're voting. Uh, doing a poll every time we start a new mission or get down to a new planet as to what her disposition is going to be, naughty or nice. Whoa, uh, wrong button. How about that? Grunt. So uh, we could bring Grunt and Morden for both loyalty missions if we want. If we want. Krogan. All right, fine. All right. So we'll bring Grunt and Morden for Morden's loyalty mission. But um, I don't know. I don't know about bringing Morden for Grunt's loyalty mission. We'll worry about that next. Anyways, vote! Exclamation mark! Vote! A space and a number. 
Zero for naughty, one for nice. Naughty means renegade, trigger happy, and one means paragon, diplomatic. Yeah, this should be interesting. I'm not sure I have or haven't brought Grunt on Morden's Loyalty Mission, and some of the stuff on Morden's Loyalty Mission is is very... It's very feelsy, it's very thoughtsy, and it might be relevant to a Krogan. So it should be interesting to see what uh, Grunt has to say. If you remember some of what Morden has said about the Genophage, he was involved in the Genophage modif uh, modification project. So the Genophage was introduced to control the Krogan population by reducing successful birth rates. Uh, save. Rex is, uh, so he should be down there. Rex should be in charge when we get down to the surface, unless something went wonky with the, uh, uh, with the save game editor matching things up. We played one on PS3, and this is, of course, on PC, so I imported a different ME1 character and then tweaked the save a little bit to match our stuff. Anyways, Morden is going to have to confront what he's done. That is part of what's going to happen. No, no spoilers, but, um, Morden having been involved in the project to reconfigure the genophage so that it was more effective at controlling Krogan birth rates, they were starting to overcome the, the changes, was a secret project. And thus far, he has not expressed anything resembling remorse for this. Uh, you know, it's not genocide. They call it a genophage. But essentially, they are... They have created a race killer. A race suppressor. So, nice one with five votes. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hopefully we have enough Paragon to pull it off. Um, points, points, points. Concussive shot. Yeah, let's max your concussive shot. Uh, can you play ME2 on PS3? Yes. All three games. All three are there. It's just that the... I mean, it's, it's 720, and I'm streaming in 720, so that's fine. But the frame rate is not great. It drops, uh, it rarely peaks at 30. The frame rate tends to be sub 30. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, uh, yeah, all three are now on Xbox and PlayStation. ME1 was not on PlayStation 3. That's the one that eventually came out when they did the trilogy, I think is when it happened. Well, guess who finally gets Cryoblast? Or we could save the points for Neural Shock. Let's save the points for Neural Shock. Grenade Launcher, check. Locust, check. And, um... Pistol. What do I want? I've never... Hmm. Hmm. Let's take the Phalanx for a little bit. My favorite pistol is in ME3, so I'm not as picky about my pistols in ME2. Oh, Pierce, I see what you're saying. I, I missed that comment, or I didn't process it till now. You can't trick the Krogan if Rex is alive. Never thought about that. Never thought about that. On the other hand, my, my you'll get to decide. You will all get to decide. But my personal thoughts is, of course you got to do the good thing in ME3. Of course you got to do the good thing. <laughs> yep, that's the one. You nailed it. First guess, you nailed it, Pierce. That's the one. The sticky grenades. <gasps> Look who it is. Look who it is. Look who it is, everyone. It's Char. They made it to Tachanka. From Ilium. You remember them from Ilium? The blue rose of Ilium? This is Char. The uh, poetic Krogan. What did I tell you, hon? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. It seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. Is it just me, or did the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief a little. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. He's a good guy. Char is a good I guy. I can do this, Char. Hey, now. 
My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. I don't know why she doesn't like his poetry. It's pretty good. What did I tell you, honey? Pretty it's good. Beautiful, but far away from all that. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. I'm not looking for work. We're looking for an answer. What's wrong with Grunt? Ah, oh, Kim. That makes sense. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. You know what's wrong with him. What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Kim says, Genophage. Phage, meaning a thing that devours, probably from uh, the suffix phage, to swallow. Makes sense to me. Makes perfect sense. Take your business to the clan leader. Yeah, ah, you you said that. Just let me buy. I have business. That's what you already said. Talk to the clan leader. Um, I have had very first time I played this uh, through on PC. There was no save editors involved. My save didn't carry over right. A number of things broke. I saved the council, and they ended up being credited with um, being destroyed. Saved Rex, and then he wasn't here. It's just a number of weird things. We should be good, though. All right, bud, lurk on. You take something for your tooth today? Erdnot clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the chief scout. Good. Talk to scout then, or chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Um, help me out, Pierce. Uzi, I'm not I'm not sure based on that. Who are we talking about? Where is Uzi? Tachanka. Um, um Rex, good. Woo, that was close. <laughs> I would be sad if Rex was gone. It, despite what you said about Rex closing off some options in the next game. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear the enemies apart. The former fighting pit champion you befriend by feeding. Uh, are you talking about... Oh, Urz. Oh, now... Yeah, okay. I don't think I ever processed his name. This is who you were talking about. But, um... I'm not sure I've ever fed him. So we'll have to keep an eye out for an opportunity to feed him. That's cool. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are a nerd knot. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. Well, I should go. The businessman. No. We'll wait until we have a discount to buy anything, but he's got heavy weapon ammo. The Death Mask. The Death Mask. Not only offers exceptional protection, but also includes an advanced audio processing package that allows unprecedented clarity and resonance for spoken communication. It's got a nice microphone in it, is what I'm hearing. Increases negotiation bonus. Hey, Eva. How you doing? What's happening? Did you get some good sleep? Uh, wait, wait, timing was off. No, when you showed up yesterday, you were just waking up. You were just waking up. Uh, time zones, you know, they're funny things. They're funny things. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok. 
Shiager, and Vio. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. And you miss the tank. So how's your day been, Eva? What's going on? The clan leader summons you. He is in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Rex. Good enough. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> out of my way. Out of my way. Shepard. My friend. Hug him, Shepard. Hug him. Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Uh, Here's the Rex. You made the rise of her not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Windy. Oh, that's how Krogans settle small disputes. The glory, whether it likes it or not. <laughs> now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Master Assassin, hello. How you doing? Uh, Eva, I, I slept well. It was a little late getting to sleep, but I slept well, and I took a nap this afternoon. Small nap. How's the Normandy, he asks. How's the Normandy? He doesn't even know about the new one. He's asking about the old one. Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Uh, yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. Good times. Good times. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with <laughs> skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. I did. I sort of got a... The, the nap I took this afternoon, I somehow managed to get a stiff neck out of that. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Yeah, I didn't know your heater was out. Uh, repaired a heater in the bathroom. Yay for girls and technology! Did, um... Dare I ask, how cold was it in your bathroom before you fixed the heater? Yikes, cold bathrooms are never fun. Warm bathrooms are the best, are the best, because they're small rooms usually, and they, they just, they get warm and cozy so easily. All right, that, that was enough praise for, for bathrooms. Uh, why bother with the weak clans? What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs, rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. 
Gatatog holds the oldest <laughs> settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not, we need to rethink. Restart. What do the women of Clan Erdnot think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. You fixed the water heater. Well, that is important. Oh my god. Yeah, water heater. Water heater. What did um what did you have to do to fix it? Yeah, that's that's an emergency. When the water heater goes out, that's an emergency. Hmm. <clears throat> That works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Is this different or gets back into the same dialogue tree? I'm not sure. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We're making a neutral ground where all clans can share resources and fertile females. Foolishness. All of it. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? One option I missed. I feared, worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen, always fighting, guiding their pathetic state. I think we can make an exception, Pierce. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. I think we have to make an exception. Pierce, Pierce uh, just said, oh crap, I realize since we're going nice, we're going to miss the best renegade interrupt in the entire game. I know exactly which one you're talking about. So uh, we might just have to make, make one little exception because it's too awesome to pass. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be we slow, can do that. I can do I that. Veto powers. Woohoo! I've got the buttons. <laughs> Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. True, Eva. You still have to have some hot company. Get the water hot. Uh, that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka. <laughs> Let's take that off ramp. I got the power. I got the power. What's wrong with Grunt? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok. Everybody dance now! You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? <laughs> yeah, we can do it here now, sweet.
I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah. Would have to be a bed dance. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Storms off. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. Eva, watch the stream now. Bump, 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 bump. Hey, Mike, what's up? Welcome. How you doing, Mike? <laughs> Rex just basically said, Damn it, Shepard, quit killing everybody. In his own way. Is that what he said? Is that what he said? You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all. You and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. Ooh. Um, I don't think it's happening now. It happened sometime in the past 45 minutes, but... Um, I don't want to say it even out loud. Don't want to say those words, but um, I'll say it. Dropped some frames a little while ago. I don't know when it happened, but I dropped a chunk of frames. Hopefully it doesn't continue. Curiously, since I signed up for the commercial internet that I've got with the same company, same node, same equipment, so it's not actually faster, my upstream has stabilized a little bit. That's what I don't want to jinx, but my upstream, which is at the same speed, has been more consistent and hasn't hasn't dropped on me. I've been able to get single VODs on Twitch, even though I still can't export them to YouTube and all of that jazz. 12-hour uh, stream, 12-hour chunk. I had a 24-hour chunk. Since I started streaming on Twitch, having done more than 20 24-hour streams, there are only two of them in the entire history that, um, that I've done that managed to be a single VOD and not get dropped a few times. So this is the first time I've seen any substantial drop frames since I switched to the commercial internet. Just had to think about it, had to note it. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clan I know S seven's probably expected. A tank bred, probably more so. A bit jealous. Is what it is, right or no. Knock on wood. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Diddy boy. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Good boy. Stay with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. All right, all right. All right. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for you? Witchcraft on you, you had to close and reopen. That might have been when it happened, Doc. I didn't notice, and so far nobody had, had mentioned trouble, so. All right, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. <laughs> safe and homey. All right, I don't know if we're going to have any crashes tonight, but uh, let's start to stagger a few saves. All right. How come, um, how come Ratch didn't mention anything about the hijacks? Human returns. This time with more creds, I hope. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough and tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Ring call hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. There we go, pie jacks. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call. Whatever they can get their talons on. Now you actually do it for Ratch. You do it over by the scout commander, but the job is for Ratch. 
So this is it's uh, I think it's even called Ratchet's Quest or something like that. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Pie jacks. Make a dent in the pie jack population. And you get a discount. Good luck with that. <laughs> good luck I with that. Go. Suit yourself. So before we actually get to Morden's quest, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna shoot some pie jacks and uh, bet on a fight, and then we'll be on our way. Almost, we got, and then talk to a Krogan scientist, and then we'll be on our way. Hit fighting, gambling station, watch fight. Put down some real money, human. White blue hope, red brown thunder. I've always voted on the white blue Varen. I don't know if it's a static win, but. Usually works out. Yes! Winner! I don't know if there's any more to that. I don't know if you can... I mean, you keep gambling. What's the point? Do you just get a couple hundred credits each time? Does anything change? Oh, we're going to punch one in the clinic. Yes, we are. Watch it, human. Yes, we are. I straight ahead. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were <laughs> going to talk to me. I'm looking for a Salarian. The blood pack captured him in Sub his last Sub-Zero Weens! I heard about that Salarian. Poor bastard. If it's blood pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Uh, I post genophage is not entirely correct, but um, the genophage you, you'll hear it mentioned because there'll be comments on it like why why is the planet so wrecked? Did the genophage do this? And then Orden will be like, no, no, it's not a nuclear weapon. Uh, so that, you know, small spoiler, but to answer your question, there were nukes, but that has nothing to do with the genophage. The Rachni Wars. I don't know. Did the Rachni Wars ever actually come to Tachanka though? As will be pointed out, most of what happened on Tachanka is what the Krogans have done to each other. Warring, a lot of that precipitated by the genophage. So the, the internal conflicts that they already had as a warrior race were exacerbated greatly by the fact that they couldn't breed and they had to compete for fertile females. And yeah, it all went to shit and the Krogans killed each other. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. I like the way you put it there, Pierce. Basically, the Krogan are fallout survivors turned warriors turned lab rats. That sounds about right. What's Clan Warlock's reputation? And how are they involved with the blood pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the blood pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics, totally devoted to Warlock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. What makes Gold so special? 
He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. <laughs> That's all it is. Same for gold. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. Not as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. Yep, Rex is here. Rex is here. How you doing, Third Street Saints? Welcome. Um, Rex has been spared. Rex has been spared. What makes gold so Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just repeat dialogue. Came back up. Okay. Actually, we're good. We're not taking the truck quite yet. Not quite yet. Anything that gets rid of the damn offworlders. You can take the truck over there. Gonna do Ratchet's quest, yeah, talk to a scientist, punch a pie jack, and uh, and soon, and soon we'll be can you going. Tell me more about your duties out here. Far away. Gotta let my peace cool off anyway. The other scouts wouldn't accept a commander overloading his gun while shooting at vermin. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol. Keep them honest. What does a scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. I don't think I've ever had this dialogue. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them uh. up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. A lot of people probably agree with you, except people also like Grunt. Third Street Saint says, Love Rex, wish you could use him instead of Grunt. Um, how about both? Couldn't we have both? Now that would be something. What if you could have Rex and Grunt? You wouldn't... Now, I love my team, don't get me wrong, but if you could have Rex and Grunt... That's all you would need. Rex, Grunt, Shepard, save the galaxy. Let's go. So every clan on Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin, and if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, the clan's hope for the future is lost. Falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Thanks for the information. I don't think I've ever gotten so much information out of that guy. You'll need it. Look at him run. Ah. Oh no. Alright. It was moving really slowly. I thought something was wrong. Shoot the pie jacks. Uh which button? Shit. <laughs> Hold on. You lose. That was awkward um yeah well hold on which button load them up <laughs> it says what well, it's a press space bar i'm using a controller it's one of the things that wasn't wasn't mapped over properly had the same problem again damn it uh how many buttons do we have here how did i get frack I'm gonna have to start it over. That okay. Oh, I got a button now. Or 
We're good. It's the first round, so we've got a few extra rockets. By the way, the button is um, the button is A on an Xbox controller. You're only saying that because you're in the middle of Mass Effect 1 and Rex is great on there? Yes, Rex is. Why did the map come up that time? I know when I was spamming buttons I brought the map up, but it should be all done with that. Two for one. Get another twofer? We get another twofer? Two for one. About another two for one. Good splash damage on these rockets. I'm too much of a pushover, Pierce. I always want to do uh, do the good thing, do the right thing, save everybody, keep them alive, do right by the race, all of that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get a two for two for one. Oh. Trigger happy there. Two for one. And completed Ratchet's quest. Give me a reason. Before we go talk to Ratch, let's go punch a pie jack. Anything. Don't touch anything. Krogan's hit by Genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survived. Yeah, no thanks to you. Or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt. Continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh. Should you be in here? Salt rifle damage, biotic damage, heavy pistol damage, shotgun damage. Look at all the stuff this guy has. I can't remember what it takes to get a discount. I hope we can get a discount, though. Look at all his little incubators. Pijack mating couples. Who are you? I am Fortat, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot. Hmm. And I don't have time to answer your inane questions. We're, we're nice, Shep, that's right. Except for, we're going to get one little interrupt in another place here. We're going to cheat a little bit on nice, Shep. We're going to do one little naughty thing, but it's not here. Then make time. Nope. Nope. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, I knew someone understands. I swear I am among brainless pijacks here, toiling among savages. I am the Lord High Researcher. <laughs> what are you researching? You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust <laughs> I've heard. medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah. What else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. <laughs> Actually, wait, forget I said anything. Yeah, that's not, don't, don't suggest anything. Not to Morden either. 
Hmm. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. <laughs> my predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. If S7 were a Krogan scientist, he would be this guy. Wasting my time with things that don't explode. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. <clears throat> I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Does anyone remember if you can get a discount here or what it takes to get a discount here? Does it happen after one of the big quests? I don't even remember. Is it after we helped the mechanic? I don't know. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot up in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? <laughs> Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of wrinkle. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. Exploding pie jacks. I would like to see that. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore we don't. Not anymore we don't. Oh shit. I've never I've never noticed that that detail. What do you think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? What do you think he means by not anymore we don't? He means Rex ain't allowing that shit. I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. <laughs> Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. All right. Guess what? One wrong step, Shepard. We're finally ready to do a quest. Let's uh, let's talk to Ratch, and then I think we're we're moving. Only. Uh, only an hour to get started here today. And I dropped more frames, damn it. What is going on? Are they dropping now? Not cool. There's actually some frames dropping right now. Is anyone having any uh, troubles that you can see? Wombat, what's up? Well, we haven't started any of the main missions yet. Welcome, Wombat. You didn't miss much. You didn't miss much. Um, we've come down to Tachanka, we've spoken to everybody, we spoke to, to Rex a whole bunch, but we haven't done anything else yet. Stay. Good Varen. Good Varen. Seeing those vermin roasting the heat from an explosive... How are you doing today, Wombat? I swear it was glorious. My pleasure. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. It got a little jerky, but it's okay. On and off buffering, Doc. Not too noticeable. All right, thank you all. Yeah, I mean, something was going on, but... Um, I should go. If yourself. it keeps going, I'll take a five-minute break, and we'll let it stabilize. Hope to let it stabilize. Pie Jack meat. Sweet. So this is what you were talking about. Get the meat, feed it to the Varen. Never done that. Never done that. Heavy weapon ammo, 25k. Let's do it. This looks interesting. The gang's all here. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're looking good. Here, try this. <laughs> looks like Urs finally found someone to follow around. Hey, Lamia! Lamia, when did you get here? I was um, I was looking for you before. 
if you if you've been here for a little while i missed it hello cheers cheers i'll be toasting with a mostly empty cup though because i don't want to start slamming coffee here tonight i had one cup maybe i'll have some cocoa in a little bit skipping the beer no beer no beers So, uh, oh, he is. That's awesome. Hers is following us around. Put down some real money, human. To the family. Cheers, Doc. To the family. Cheers to you all. Oh. Of course, we're making a bet for hers. Boy, the camera there was a mess, but that was sweet. That was sweet. Uh, John Wick. One of the cool things about the action in John Wick is that the, the cuts during all the grappling and all the fights, um, they're, not, they're not in too close. You can actually follow the action. So, so many films, when they get high action and a lot of uh, throws and grappling, and it, just, it gets so messy. The camera does all these little quick cuts, and they're all so close. You can't get the context for the fight. And it feels like a blur, just like that little Varen fight did. Anyways, uh, John Wick, they did a very good job, I thought. Still All the fights were, Solarian. you could follow them. You just come to waste they flowed time. really well. Oh, shit. I am really still dropping a bunch of frames. Um... <sighs> Tell you what, um, I'm going to pause in a minute here. I know we've only been going an hour and we haven't really started a main quest yet, but um, we've set our disposition for this quest. It's nice. When we go on to Grunt's loyalty mission, you know what? I don't think we're going to have a problem, Pierce. I don't think we're going to have a problem because we're going to do a separate Naughty or Nice poll when we move on to Grunt. We'll still be on Tachanka, but it's a whole other loyalty mission. We'll do another Naughty or Nice poll. And uh, depending on how it comes up, we'll make sure to get that interrupt either way. Ha! <laughs> yeah, Pierce, your membership to the Continental Club are by thine own hand revoked. Crossfire! Oh, I loved it. Actually, the weakest part, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone, but uh, Pierce, I thought the weakest part of John Wick was the, the femme fatale character. Uh, not bad, not bad, just not as strong as all the other characters were. So, okay, um, I'm going to take, we said who we were going to take, we're going to bring Grunt and Morden. I'm going to take five minutes here and see if I stop dropping frames. So, I wouldn't normally take a break this soon in the stream, but uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go grab a quick bite. See y'all in a few minutes. If I can, if I can manage the buttons.
All right. So, um, I don't know if the numbers look completely stable, but I guess we'll just, we'll deal. We'll deal. All right, we already did some point allocation. Already set up our weapons. Slip my sandals on. Locust, incendiary ammo. I'm gonna go for some cryo ammo. Remember, we're here looking for one of Morden's team members. We're here to look for one of his team members. Clicks in. We haven't even seen those yet. God damn it, Bobby! God damn it, Bobby! Ugh! Oh, the frames! Oh, they're so bad! Oh man, what's going on? I imagine some of you, if not all of you, no, it is. It's on my end. It's on my end. Shit. Alright. Break take two. I mean, um, that was really only three minutes, but the the frame rate is... It's not the frame rate, but dropping frames, dropping frames. The bit rate goes all over the place to try and compensate. Really? Really? <clears throat> I just love it. I love it! The numbers look really bad. They look really bad. Uh, way worse than when I took the break, too. Hmm. I'm looking at my streaming computer screen over here, just watching the numbers. Please, Twitch, please. Internet, please. Um, I have a few options. Hi, G. Welcome, welcome. Lurk on. Just in time for a break. We are woo. Man, I'm having buffering issues. It's not really a break. It's just the buffering problems that I'm having all of a sudden. Uh, you just had to reset again, Doc. I am... Let me... I'm to bounce the stream and go through a different server. Uh, let me go ahead and bounce the stream. Going to switch. I can switch uh, Twitch servers, but it may not fix the problem. It was awesome. Thank you. We are woo. Thank you so much, man. It was awesome. Fucking fantastic. Uh, all right. Um, going to drop the stream. And uh, come back through a different Twitch server, which may not fix the problem. But that may or may not help. Yeah, you're supposed to hate that part. No, the, the dog factor, I was... I was absolutely clear 
on uh, some of why you love that film when I saw the dog factor. Okay, so I'm going to bounce the stream here. I'll be right back. So let's see what happens going through Texas instead of West LA. I just restarted the stream. Everyone may need or want to refresh now. You may want to refresh. Um, yeah, go ahead and refresh the stream. I haven't dropped any frames yet since coming back up through Texas. I'm going to wait for a second here for people to come back, see if we get some confirmation that things are, are working, and then we'll proceed. Woohoo. Tech problems. Everybody loves them. Find a combustion manifold. Look for a scout. <laughs> Woohoo, Texas! Yeah, Texas is probably the closest one to me, but uh, some of the tests I did yesterday or the other day with the tool that Spider linked uh, made it look like going to be better in uh, L.A. And it was okay for a night. Anyways, let's proceed. Let's proceed. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would refresh again. Refresh again, Pierce. You should be okay. Should be okay. Is it out of sync for anyone else? Is it? Is it out of sync for everyone? Hey, Steve! Steve, thank you, man! Thank you so much! That's a <laughs> daily thank you. Well, Steve, man, please don't feel you need to make that a daily thing. Thank you so much to keep you going. It certainly raises my spirits in the middle of a, of a tech glitch. Lag is brutal. I'm not dropping frames. It is out of sync. What the hell? Okay. Okay. In that case... <laughs> 